Hawaii, go. Hope you're having a magnificent, magnificent moment in your life. All praise the Most High, Hawaii, for bringing this redemption, for breaking the chains, the breaker of chains. For the frequency, you know, we're digging on frequency energy. You know what I'm saying? Hawa to the battle family, man. Dropping that drop, drop nation. Man, in Mexico, man, in Chichen Itza. <laughs> Mexico, Chris Battle, big Chris Battle, man. Man, this is what they're taking with their cameras, man. Love to the battle family. They traveling, getting that drop. This is what they're witnessing. You know what I mean? We're talking energy, frequency, and vibration. Hawa. Love to everyone dropping that drop right here, man. You sharing your drop. I'm getting them. Thank you so much. I'm going to put them all up. I got like another 30 to put up. We're going to have over 160 PDFs right here. I'm so grateful, man, for the most high to give us the energy to put this back together again and do it bigger and better. Much love, much a high for everyone copping the drop shirts. You know what I mean? We got them for you. We're about to expand all this into all kind of other, you know what I'm saying, products and, you know, all that, man. Hoodies and hats and all kinds of fun things, man, for you to rock the drop. You can come here. You can select whatever you like. $20 uh, drop nation joints or the if I can't tell, they can't tell us who we are. How can they tell us who we're not? 25 And you can do it all right here, man, while you surf the wave wherever you are. Get the drop, man. Drop the drop on the stewards, man. J. Stu. All, right. All praise. Much a hive to this beautiful family for showing us, showing us, man, what this door looked like. Showing us what the door is and how we walk through it. To walk through it and to be able to, you know, create a way for us to surf in. We're surfing in J. Stu's wave, man. And we're surfing in Camellia's wave, man. And now they got a brand new wave coming, man. Drop Nation is overflowing with anticipation of Camellia and J. Stu's first child dropping soon. Let's all tribe up and vibe up around our pure water. Support the stewards. Drop the drop. Love to uh, Larissa Freeman for dropping that drop on the stewards. Uh, Tide Battle keeps the drop dropping on stewards. Man, love to Wilma Bates who just dropped it. Another wonderful drop, man. Sister ain't stop dropping drop on our emergency fund so we can stay uh, suited up. You know what I'm saying? When the time comes, we can have what we need for any extra tents or any extra emergency or any extra emergency travel. You know what I'm saying? Someone is is, is, is on the way to the land. You know, something happens to, you know, their, their uh, you know, travel plans, their car, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? We got to be ready for that so that they can get there. So we can all make sure that we are prepared to get there when we need to get there. When everything going on right now, we know that it's important to have somewhere to get. I mean, so definitely, man, stay choosing up, stay vibing up. I mean, and, uh, you know, much a hop to everyone surfing the wave, man. The battle family's traveling, man. And always rocking the drive wherever they are, man. And that's just a beautiful thing. So keep surfing the wave. We're going to get into, uh, you know, again, man, we... Got into the dragon lines and the dragon grid and all that. And don't let it spook you out, man. This is just energy, frequency, vibration. Why do you think Peru and Cusco is called the dragon's lair? Because it is the vortex. We're talking energy. I mean, do dragons protect the vortexes? I mean, is that crazy? Is Joppa crazy? You know, the last dragon. You are the last dragon. I mean, it's an energy thing. You know, when you control fire, you know, they might call you a fire person. <laughs> you control, you know what I'm saying, earth, you know, air. You have all the power over the elements again, you know. Hey, we're just talking uh, your natural, when you're all natural, when you're natural by law. And we're surfing the wave, man. Where we at, where we at, here we go, the keys of Enoch. Book of Knowledge by J.J. Hurtak. We dropped some of this when we had our live listening party, man. That Lupe fiasco. Love to the king, Lupe. Touche, Lupe. We're going to get it from here. We're just going to surf, man. We're in page 13 of the PDF. Let's rock with it. We're going to get back in that Max, uh, Max Spires. 
talking about that 3D, 4D, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about simulations, man, we're talking all that. I know it's a little small, but I got to get it like this because it won't let me scroll from side to side. So I got to be able to see it, man. But let's get it. Fall back. Don't be too head, head heavy. Too many mind. Don't use too many mind. Just surf the way, man. See how it connects to you. See, see what fits in your journey. I'm not trying to make nothing stick in your journey or, or, or put you up on anything that has to stick to you. You know what I'm saying? But what we provide here is just a drop, man. You get your umbrella out if you need it or you, you belly flop in it, man. You, you put your, your rain boots on, man, because, you know, we're going to get different waves. We're going to get different, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just waves of thought, you know, and we can do that hijack free. We can present our own theory we can present our own hypothesis without you know anyone saying nah 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 man it gotta be this 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 see it's like you know at least entertain my hypothesis <laughs> entertain what we're putting together as drop nation what we're digging on just because you ain't heard of it before just because you might man when you go over here and you drop that drop on me, it goes right into my Google Drive, man. All right. This is how this is working. You go over here, you click share your drop. You know, and again, I found this after hours of searching for an alternative to Dropbox. This a teacher in some elementary school or, or maybe middle school created this script. So that their students can drop them homework assignments into their Google Drive. And it just happens to have this, you know, she's supposed to be this indigenous, indigenous girl of indigenous sister. I'm just going to call her indigenous sister. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll color her in. But it's crazy, right? I mean, what's the odds, man? Google Dropbox for free. I mean, if you want to drop on that, man, email me, man. But yeah, man, um, you drop it on us. We get it. You drop your music, we four through two, we put it back. I get to it as fast as I can. But I love y'all, man. And we do this for free, man. Five songs for free every month, man. To everyone who is subscribed, surfing the wave, surfing the wave, just join Drop Nation VIP. Or register to the website. You know, make sure you make sure we have your email. You register to the website and keep dropping it, man. And you can do your comments, man, and, and enjoy it. Enjoy the drop chat room. Enjoy the library. Enjoy the vibe suites. Love to your Hanatan Hebrew Prince, man. Just drop that busted up. Y'all heard me. The true appearance of Israelites, man. Love to the brother who's Benji. He just came out firing, man. And he's just finding his flow and just enjoying, you know what I'm saying, teaching the flock, man. So go definitely subscribe and, and surf the wave of your Hanatan Hebrew Prince. Love to my sister, Miss D, in the Copper Color Awakening, always on point, man. I mean, the sister always, uh, you know, comes comes stronger and stronger, more and more, you know what I'm saying, in line and, 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 and just in that beautiful flow, man, that we can all just surf with, man. So love to the sister for always, you know what I'm saying, keeping it hijack free for us, for providing just a wonderful wave. And uh, it's just a beautiful thing, man. Go dig on. All of what the sister dropping a song for the Sabbath day. We doing it, man. Come on, man. Love to Karu Mio. Excuse me, Karu Mio. Karu Mio. Yeah, I'm trying, brother. Aha, uh -huh, you. He got the thaw, thaw the tricks to drop it, man. Man, I, I dropped some of his drop on Instagram, man. Um, with this uh, masonry document talking about Egypt and America. Go dig on the brother Karu Mio. Aha, uh -huh, you. Let go, man. Let go, man. Where we at, man? Y'all get, you know, click on that JJ Hurtech. We in it. We in it. The wild. Take a breath. Surf the way. These are the first three keys of the Enoch scroll. And when Enoch programmed these keys into me, he explained that we are a part of an open-ended universe. Being part of an open-ended universe, we are part of an open-ended mind. Being part of an open-ended mind, we are part of an open-ended universal image. 
if we look at the first three keys, we see that the many, we see that in many, in the many and one, there is a relationship of universe to universe and universe to many universes. By seeing universe to universe and universe to many universes, we see the overall plan of development as requiring a higher mind. The higher mind is seen as Lord, Adonai, King, Melech, Redeemer, Messiah. The knowledge of the living mind comes after your living mind becomes open-ended. The scroll starts with an open-ended cosmology rather than a closed-ended cosmology, for if it were to say in the first key, the creative mind as the center of the universe is known as Lord, King, or Redeemer, it would put all galaxies into a single universe. A man by starting out with his own three-dimensional concept of God, we're talking three dimension, fourth dimension, five, fifth dimension, energy, frequency, and vibration. We keep it simple, right? So when we go up in octaves, you know what I'm saying? When we look at the earth as being in a base 216 frequency, possibly when it was created at a 216 frequency, and now going into this 432, going into doubling, going into another octave, you know, the earth is having labor pains, it's birthing a new frequency, it's coming into a new octave. Are you coming with it? Are you getting with it? Or are you getting left on? You double 432, you're in 864, you double that, you're in 1728, you double that, you're in 3456, you double that, you're in 6912. 6 plus 9 plus 1 plus 2, you're back to 9. You're still in the 9, so that's the frequency you're returning to. That's the 5. That's the spiral above the barrier. You're created above the barrier. And soon there would be no barrier. There would be no need for a barrier. When we're all surfing away, we're all in that pure water. We're all in that 4, 3, 2. We're all in the 5, the spiral. Man, by starting out with his own three-dimensional concept of God, would limit God to that universe, and he would argue with his fellow man as to the meaning of God and the definition of what is God. Is he the God that the ancient Christian theologians are seeing in the terms of the Civetas D, the city of God? Is he God in terms of what the Kohanim, the ancient Judaic theologians, are seeing in terms of the Melech Shamayim? Get over here. I gotta go side to side with y'all. In terms of the Melech Shamayim? Or is it God beyond the nature of description whereby, you know, they're saying YHWH, you know what I'm saying? We know how why means that no one should begin to define what is beyond definition. If you look beyond definition, what do you see? Universe beyond universe, you see the many and the one, or as the Greek philosophers would say, the en kai pan. And when you see the many as well as the one, you recognize that the most perfect plurality is also the most perfect unity. By going into the splendor of the universe is plural, you recognize a higher plan of creation that can be seen in this universe and this level of creation. Then you can understand that no one must go beyond all theologies and all cosmologies which say that this is God here and only in this level of creation for God is neither here nor there. Neither Po nor T, as the Greek philosophers would say, he is seen in all universes. Therefore, you must recognize all universes in order to see God, and he cannot see, he cannot be seen in the image of your own creative universe, for he is beyond all images. He is beyond all universes, and yet all universes function collectively as the brain diagram of the higher order creation. Why has there been a testing of God? 
What unworthy deed has he done that man must scandalize his name within his own laboratories of delusion? Can the perceptual form of this planetary mind be so vain as to suppose the universe does not exist beyond the scope of its own three-dimensional matter energy body? We're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. He has no he no has no one spoken concerning the end of this age in which the illusions of corrupted mind energies will cease to function in thoughts and form. Negro, has no one spoken to you concerning the end of this age in which the illusions of their corrupted mind energy, their matrix, will cease to function in thoughts and forms? Things will be unveiled in the end, right? The books will be unsealed, right? If the planetary mind cannot see the nature of Hoa in the cosmos within the collective I am of its higher evolutionary body, how shall it determine its course through the heavens in order to behold and declare the true and certain nature of life as recreated within the universe of living light? The universe which surrounds us is full of love, powered emanations and love thresholds into which man, as son of man, will evolve as life, begets life and eternal life. This shall be the, commun the communion of life, which will evolve into the eternal body of light known as the brotherhood of light, man. We're talking about the body. We're talking about an energy body. We're talking about your dragon body what they would call your dragon body what's connected to your dragon lines the energy grid what's the cross it's the crossing of the energy in the energy grid on the dragon lines we're talking vortexes here we're talking to people that protect the vortexes here we're talking to people in the image of the vortexes here the energy frequency and vibration therefore grasp not at the spiritual inversions of light into matter life into death but awaken your vision with the light and love and the grace of humility before the magnificent and beneficent one of eternal peace the second key listen up the second key is saying that the creative mind exists not only as quote unquote lord Adonai, but as king, the creative mind exists as king, Melech, and as redeemer, I only can save you, Israel. I only am your savior, is what Hawa says to us, meaning it's what we say to ourselves. The creative mind exists not only as Lord Adonai, but as King, Melech, and Redeemer, Messiah. This means that the mind itself does not have to become incarnate in order to act as King or Redeemer. The mind can stay where it is and program the Redeemer. Whoa. Now we're going to surf the wave again with that, you know, Max Byers drop. We're talking about the 3D, 4D. We're going to get into the simulation. And we're talking creative mind. The creative mind exists. We're talking about the second key of Enoch. You know, surf the wave, dig on it, let go. The creative mind exists not only as Lord Adonai, but as King, Melech, and Redeemer, Messiah. This means that the mind itself does not have to become incarnate in order to act as king or redeemer, but the mind can stay where it is and program the redeemer, Messiah, into any teacher of light, they say. <laughs> any teacher of this energy, any, any messenger of this energy, the mind can stay where it is and program into any master. And then, you know, dodge the hijack. And we got the Osiris. 
David Jataka Jataka the kingship of YHWH we're talking Hawa sovereign energy the kingship of Hawa sovereign energy the mind can stay where it is and program the redeemer messiah into any teacher of light the mind can stay where it is and program into any master such as Osiris David Jataka, we got a dig on this Jataka, the kingship of Hawa, sovereign energy. Interesting. Let's go. Let's go back to the right. Let's get a, a couple more pages of this, man. The mind can stay where it is and program the Lord, quote unquote, Adonai, into many universes, into many galaxies, into many life stations we're just talking about the infinite plane king melech is sovereign over all powers and principalities and galactic universes of the ophanim the bene elohim and the heos ha kodesh there are beyond they are beyond our level of intelligence the high orders of intelligence understand that the Messiah is where the redemptive energies of the body of light are manifested. Redemptive energies of your body. You have redemptive energies that are being activated. A redemptive collective mind. A redemptive collective mind that is your Messiah. That you are connected to right now on the same energy grid, which is what we call surfing the wave. This is what we call digging on it, man. When they are manifested within you, Negro, copper color found here by the European in the promised land. When they are manifested within you, you are a part of the collective Messiah. The collective Messiah unifies not only the 144,000 ascended masters, uh oh, <laughs> in swag frequency, that this physical universe is familiar with, but all physical universes that interpenetrate this physical plane and those beyond on other frequencies of light. Whoa. Again, so when the collective Messiah unifies Negro within you, so-called Negro, when your collective energy is unified, when your collective Messiah unifies, not only the 144,000 masters that this physical universe is familiar with, but all physical universes that interpen interpenetrate this physical plane and those beyond on earth other frequencies who's beyond on other frequencies of light so we're connected to the entire grid the grid goes beyond the lands that you know it goes much beyond the lands that you know it keeps going beyond the ice and more lands and beyond the ice and more lands we're talking the infinite plane we're talking lands beyond the pole even they get affected when your collective Messiah is activated, that interpenetrates this physical plane and those beyond on other frequencies of light. Beyond what? Beyond the poles. We are to see then if man is to work with the creative mind, he must comprehend the creative mind as something beyond the anthro morphic image of a three-dimensional God form even beyond the light form of the Adam Kadmon even beyond the mess messianic form of Melchizedek uh oh let's go man let's go y'all want to do it the creative mind is Hawa Hawa you know they got the Aya Aya Hawa I am that I am I shall be what I shall be, a constant evolving, a constant remaking of every order of creation. Ha wa, our framer and our shaper. 
if we are to participate in the ongoing biocosmic evolution of con continuity and change within the creative continuum of the higher evolution, we must realize ourselves from all vain, or excuse me, we must release ourselves, man. We must dodge the hijack, man. Dig on it. If we are, if you are, my family, Drop Nation, if we are to participate in ongoing biocosmic evolution, <laughs> if we are to continue to surf the wave, if you are to choose up when this earth shifts into this 432, shifts above the barrier, if you're not in 432, you are not surfing that way. And whatever reality you in, you in, but we're just talking energy, frequency, vibration. You ain't going to be jamming me up. You ain't going to be jamming us up forever. Choose up. If we are to participate in the ongoing biocosmic evolution of continuity and change within the creative continuum of the higher evolution, we must... If you're going to keep surfing away, we must release ourselves from all vain endeavors. Anything that's not towards the community, anything that's not towards building the tribe, anything that's not towards Hawa first is vanity. Straight up, real spill. You must dodge the hijack. You got to release yourself from the hijack. Disconnect from the hijack. And quicken the establishment of Hawa is here. This shall be the great and awe-inspiring Sebaioth of Adonai Tesbaioth, the Lord God of armies. It is the creative fulfillment of our destiny. It is why we have been endowed with our many bodies of relativity. And it is why there is a fulfillment of prophecy within our day. The fulfillment comes in the visitation and appearance of Merkabah and in the invitation now being extended to our higher bodies of light synthesis to join in the communion of light set in the honor of the Lords of Light who are to be heard and understood as the Lords Metatron, Melchizedek, and Maitreya. This is the Feast of Lights. This is the Brotherhood of Eternal Light. So we're talking about these these priests, you know, the Melchizedek, you know what I'm saying, that comes in and, you know what I'm saying, gives the drop, you know what I mean, to, you know, Abraham and, you know, pretty much initiates, you know, this priesthood. We're talking about Metatron, we're talking about Enoch, you know, that's what they're calling lords, we dodge the hijack, you know, we're talking about higher orders, higher orders. This is the Feast of Lights, this is the Brotherhood of Eternal Life. The third key tells us that creations the third key tells us that creations that survive must desire more than eternal life they must also engather the light of the living being on the frequency of light is determined excuse me because the frequency of light is determined the next threshold within biochemical evolution i'm gonna say that again surf the wave man the third key tells us that creations that survive must desire more than eternal life. They must also engather the light of the living because on the frequency of light is determined the next threshold within biochemical evolution. Light is the emanations of divine love that desire to serve all manner of creation that serve the living light. Moreover, within the frequency of light is determined the astrochemical parameters as to the width, the dimension, and the size of the galaxy. For within the larger galaxy is the larger image, which is open-ended just as the universe is open-ended. The similitude, the image making consistency is also open-ended just as the universe is open-ended. Right, let's get this last page. You know what I mean? Hey. You know what I'm saying? See what uh 
see what puzzle pieces you can find is all we do when we get the babies out. You know, Lords of Light and all this, you know what I'm saying? We know Hawa Hawa, but, you know, we're dealing with a lot of hijacking. We deal with this English and Lords and Light, you know, we know that Thoth is also dealing with Light and this and this and Light. So we're trying to see, are you dealing with our energy or are you dealing with the chaos, you know? It appears it might be something to unlock in our image, our energy, because even in the chaos, they have to tell the truth sometimes. And the times that they tell the truth to make their lie look better is the time we catch their ass and we say, give me that truth. Give me that drop. Now get that hijack out my face. So whenever we catch them, man, we, we get some drop, we say, all right, that might be some drop. Maybe we can, uh, you know, put it as another great puzzle piece another great piece of our foundation that we've been building for years now you know we've been getting cozy for years man let's go but if you look at the original hebrew scripture okay let's go you find that man is made into the image and similitude okay image you're in the image you're in the frequency the vibration of ha wa in two indicates that evolution is a continual in gathering of light. But why image and similitude? Bat Salmay Bat Salmenu and Kid Mutenu. It is because image is not enough. Image will die with the creative pattern of life. You need the similitude. Of a space-time continuum of light to regenerate that image. So you need the image and the similitude. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, could that be another take on the framer and the shaper? If you're in the image of your father, you're in the image, you're in the frequency, you, you are the seed. The seed is the frequency. The seed is the image. And you're in the similitude of your mother. Your framer, and then with that similitude, you can put the familiarity, the the you know similar, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know dots together. You can put the similar ingredients together, the similitude to connect the wisdom, the similitude, the wisdom. So we're talking about wisdom, you know what I'm saying? The wisdom of Solomon. Let's go. So again, why? image and similitude 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 <laughs> it is because image is not enough image will die with the creative pattern of life image will die with the creative pattern of life you you need the similitude of the space-time continuum of light to regenerate that image to reproduce you need your mother to reproduce the image, the light, the energy, the frequency, the vibration. Let's go. I'm just digging on it, man. This is why the man of light, the Adam, Kadmon, incarnates into the image of the Adamic species. This is why the Adamic species of light continuously reincarnates into the image of the Adamic species and not the lower evolution. Wow. Negro, we're just talking about your seed and who you are and why they say, man, we don't know who they are. We can't tell them who they are, so they can't tell us who we're not. So you are the seed of Adam. You're the seed of the first Adam. The first creation, the original seed. So I'll read it that way so maybe you can really break down this spell. And get into your collective mind again. And free your collective Mashiach. It is redemption season. So this is why the Adamic species of light. Or the original man. Or the copper color negro. Continuously reincarnates into the image of the copper color negro. Of Adamic species. Of the seed of Hawa. And not the lower evolution. 
So when they mixed in with us, they just mixed in, you know what I'm saying, as horrific as it is with our mothers, you know what I'm saying? And through our mothers and the mitochondria, you know, they, they mixed in to us in that way, but they never, you know what I'm saying, you know, mixed out our seed. Even when our seed was going into strange women, our seed was still hitting the target during the same time. <laughs> we were still mixing into our women, still, somewhere, someplace. And that seed has been preserved all the way into now. And this is why the copper colored Negro continues to reincarnate and reincarnate into the image of the copper colored Negro into the Adamic species of light, the Adamic species, the seed, the energy, frequency, vibration of Adam, original man, original vibration, and not the lower vibration or evolution, they say. Without the similitude, without your mama, and the synchronicity of incarnations and repeating the light functions and the light frequencies, the image would be here and die like a flash in the darkness. Oh boy, do you need your mama to reproduce. But the similitude can hold a consistency of light so that other evolutions can come into its image and feed off of its image just like others will come before your image and feed off the light that comes through your image once you have seen and beheld the Ophani, once you have seen and beheld the Adam called Man, which is part of your higher chemistry revealed to you in your true identity patterns, dragon body, dragon line, energy, higher octave, for they are not in the image of the world, but in the image of higher evolution. Hawa. They are not in the similitude of the world, but in the similitude of higher vibration. Or what they say, evolution, octave. You're not in the image of the world. You're not in the image the similitude of the world, you're in the image and similitude of that which is above the world. And for that, the world is for you. And the key goes on to say the higher evolution, which is an emanation of the living universe. is part of the universal mind, which can be here as well as in many other universes at the same time. You're in the image of Hawa. You know, the world can reflect you. The world can reflect our mothers. Our mothers can carry the frequency. You know, they can carry the frequency. They can carry the image and the similitude of the world at its highest frequency. You know, but when we're severed and when we're no longer in the image of Hawa, then the world no longer has an image either. It gets dis disfigured. And now we walk around in a disfigured, splattered, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, place of ruins, you know, on a battlefield. We see skyscrapers and that's just a symbol of your ruin. You see crosses and, and, and on churches. I mean, that's the symbol of your 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 grid being hijacked your grid being crossed out because this is what you were fighting now you're walking around the ruins ground zero waking up wakey wakey you're at war you've been invaded you're the copper color negro found in america And we're just connecting back to our collective mind, our, con our collective Messiah. We're getting back in line with our higher vibration. Wow. Let's finish it out right here. And the key goes on to say that higher evolution, which is an emanation of the lot of the living universe, is part of the universal mind, which can be here as well as in other universe at the same time. So are you here? We're gonna get into the simulation. We're like, are you here? 
I mean, did we really get slaughtered here or were we someplace else the whole time sort of acting out this 3D thing? Learning some lessons in three in the third dimension, learning some lessons in 3D, but in reality, <laughs> in our true octave, in our true mind, you know? And the Most High just taught us a lesson, but without really physic, you know, actually causing us to, you know, <laughs> uh, suffer that type of torment. You know, you always say, man, how could God allow this? How could God allow this? Maybe he's not. Maybe you're not really getting fucked up like that. Maybe you are sort of acting out this video game of getting fucked up. While you're somewhere else safe and sound. But you think you're here getting fucked up. Until you realize, fuck this shit. I'm not getting fucked up no more. It's time to get my shit back. And then the game is over. You're back in your right mind. and You learned your lessons. And now you can be one with your land on a higher frequency. Hijack free. We're just surfing away. There can be multiple incarnations of the higher creation. There can be multiple programming through light manifestation without physical form. Light is both image and similitude. Light is both energy and matter. Frequency, vibration. This scroll speaks of the depth which is evolved in the speaking of the many and the one universe. My brothers and sisters, whose praise of God, Hawa, resounds throughout the many heavens, octaves, know thee that your faith has been most cherished by the host of the heavens, who stand ready with the light energies of redemption, and who are swift in their delivery of justice with the swiftness of fire, dragon fire. <laughs> Fire, fire. <laughs> hey, what if every Negro just, um, you know, like manifested into like a fourth or fifth dimension dragon? And just, you know, went dragging on this motherfucker, you know. What if that's the fire that's raining down in prophecy? Does the fire raining down have anything to do with dragons? That's all I got to ask. Because we were just talking dragon lines and vortexes. And it appears that dragons might be protecting vortexes. And do dragons return? It doesn't have to be the physical dragon you see on TV. We could just be talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. We're just talking about controlling the elements again. We're talking about redemption. You know, it's never cool to invade the people forever and put them in perpetual servitude. So I think that gives us the right to talk redemption. A wild host of heavens will stand ready with the light energies of redemption and who are swift in their delivery of justice with the swiftness of fire. For these host energies are the network of salvation, the electromagnetic energy circuits set up in place around the earth, dragon lines, and prepared for the computing of our life, light life spectrum, conversion, conversion, you're moving up, conversion, upgrade, conversion, upgrade, higher octave, 432. 864, let's go. For these host energies are the networks of salvation, the electromagnetic energy circuits set up in place around the earth and prepared for the computing of our light, life, spectrum, conversion, my people. Our energy conversion has been prepared and focused through a series of interconnecting pyramid functions which are crystallized biorhythmic wave formations. And remember, you didn't need pyramids when you had your trees, Negro. Your crystal trees. What? What are we talking about? 
Our energy conversion has been prepared and focused through a series of interconnecting pyramid functions or tree functions, which are crystallized biorhythmic wave formations. These functions go into the appearance and reappearance of our species creation throughout the eons of time and transition. The species of light have remained intact throughout these ages because they are invincible projections of divine creation. <sighs> they tried to wipe you out in every way, but you carry the light, you carry the energy, the frequency, and you have remained intact, so-called Negro, found in America, Americans. You Americans have remained intact throughout these ages because they, you are invincible, America. You are projections. You are the image of divine creation. Ha, wa. That withstand. The what? You are the invincible manifestations of divine creations. Ha, wa. That withstand negative fields. That can withstand the hijack. The static. The friction to be formed. Crystallized. Pure water. Shining diamonds, shining gold, copper color people, my people, you withstand negative fields of desolation and ab abomination within your love of Hawa and your selfless devotion, your selfless devotion to consciousness, growth and evolution because you keep going up in octaves they can't stop you they can't slow you down they can't even fuck you up because you're in a whole nother dimension in reality you're down here playing 3d with people that stay in 3d and don't go up in octave with you and you wonder why they fuck you up because they do it while they can't because they can't move up in dimensions they can't move up in octaves with you Unless they choose up and surf the wave with you. And by doing that, they have to acknowledge who you are and put you in your rightful place and give back to you what they've stolen from you unjustly. Most high says don't kill and steal. The first thing they do is kill and steal and then create a temporary empire that continues to kill and steal and tell you to forget about it. It's my land now. It's ours now. Let's live together. It's the script. Is it ever okay to kill and steal? And if it's not okay, then when you realize something is stolen, do you not return it to its owner? When you realize something was stolen from the so-called Negro, do you not return it to its owner? And if you say, nah, but that doesn't suit me. I'm just going to uh, cover it up. I'll just take a few dollars out this wallet. Shh. Nah, no one stole your wallet, Negro. Now you're abating and abetting a crime. Now you're aiding and abetting a crime. Now you're committing the crime and blood is on your hands. Do you want that in these times? Do you really want that when Hawa is real? When Hawa exists for Israel? Israel? Hawa is real? When our creator exists, do you really want that type of drama? Or will you return what was stolen on this land? You're in sacred ground, man. You're on sacred ground whether you like it or not. You're on sacred land whether you like it or not. And the land is waking up. Will you return what was stolen from the so-called Negro? The indigenous autochton. Seed of Hawa. That was invaded and put in slavery, captivity. But our people are without negative fields of desolation and abomination within our love for Hawa and our selfless devotion to consciousness, growth, and evolution to rising above the barrier. Keep surfing the wave in the library. Man, we're going to get a little piece of this Max Spires. Let go. Now, I would like to talk about the astral plane, which is uh, 4D. 
So we're living in, this is 3D, three-dimensional uh, world. The astral plane is, 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 is four, the four-dimensional world. It's the world that you go into with some people call dream time. Um, when you go to sleep at night, uh, you go to 4D. Most decisions and most of the uh, war begins there and starts there. And then it is almost superimposed after it happens there into 3D. So everything, all the major decisions and everything that, that happens really be, uh, happens in 4D. It's very close to 3D. It's very, 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 very close. It's right here. It's sharing the same space that we are in now. Um, so uh, when uh, they say, uh, when politicians or um, religious leaders say they need to get on a plane to go and to this country or that country to meet for a for a meet for a meeting to discuss world events they don't actually have to do that at all that is to reinforce the mind into the mind of the people that 3d is all there is there are certain hotels um, throughout uh, the planet for example the Hilton hotel chain um, you can go to uh, a Hilton hotel and uh, you can stay in a specific room. Numbers, obviously, numbers resonate energy. Colors resonate energy. So you go to, say, room 384. And uh, when you go in that room and you go to sleep at night in that room, and then, say, uh, somebody else is sleeping in a city uh, um, 100 miles away in room 184, then they go to sleep and then they are able to link energetically um, uh, into 4D and, 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 and have their meeting that way. Is it play play? Is it play play? Again, man, rest in power, man, to Max Byers, man. He, uh, you know, he was assassinated, I believe, shortly after this. You know what I mean? So, is it play play? Um, you know what I'm saying? Also, rest in power, man. Man, to the real one, man. To the real one, man. Man. <laughs> Dick Gregory. How much drop have we gotten from our brother, our real one, man? Elder Dick Gregory, man. Uh, rest in power, man. Let the wave keep flowing. And, uh, I mean, yeah, he, he told us like it was for a very long time, man. So... We've been digging on, uh, you know what I'm saying, just the realness. You know, man, you know, these are all the levels, man, to the wake-up call. So let's go. Most spying, uh, most of the spying that goes on, um, because because the subconscious is deeply and intrinsically connected to uh, 4D, most of the spying that goes on um, is not, I mean, it does go on, uh, people, there are, there are spies out there who go out and, uh, you know, like in movies in that sense, but most of the spying goes on um, by uh, injecting themselves into the subconscious of the person in 4D and then draining the information that way. Is it play play? Perhaps a little bit like the movie Inception, perhaps a little bit like that. Not exactly, but a little bit like that. Hmm. So, um, huh. within within 4D, um, within what, what, with practice, with practice, you can do and be anything that you want to do. In, you can be, do and be anything that you want to do in there. Although um, f the fourth dimension is pretty much controlled by the, still 99% controlled by the Anunnaki vampiric consciousness that is uh, in control of the planet. They, they do have control of 4D as well. They don't have control of 5D completely, which is the next vibrational level up. Kind of sounds like they have the celestial unlocked because they were given that as a domain, but they can't unlock what they're calling 5D or above the barrier. So when he says a lot of decisions are made in 4D, he's saying that the celestial shit is where the decisions, the major decisions are made wherever they are. They can go into this room or that room in the Hiltons and, and, you know, do their hijack conferences and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, man. And then you got areas that they can't unlock. That's what Thoth is talking about. That's the greater light that Thoth can't get beyond. The go. They're trying to, they're trying to take control of 5D. Huh. Okay.
so this 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 parasitic vampiric consciousness that is that that is um, trying to take complete control of Earth. Earth is the heart of the universe. Mm. Um, what they would like you to believe is that we are in the middle of no, we are a spinning ball in the middle of nowhere, and that we don't count, and that we are insignificant, and that we we are nothing. When in and when in actual fact, the Earth is the gem of this part of the corner of the universe. How much have we been talking about this? We are the center of our Creator's attention. We're not just, you know, as much infinite as this plane goes. This is the heartbeat right here, baby. This is the vortex, the major motherboard right here, baby. And in this motherboard, the motherboard is right there in the Americas, right there in, you know, Peru, South America, the Yucatan, the Four Corners. Something about that dragon line, man. Something about these last dragons, man. Something about Moses' staff and the fiery flying dragon, man. Dig on it from a 4D perspective. Let's go. Dig on it from a 5D perspective, man. Hawa, above the barrier. Is it play play? Universe. They have. Let's get that um, again. Part of the He's trying to tell you, you are not insignificant. When they say you're spinning on a ball and many balls, now you're just one of many. That, that. All the many galaxies talk we talked about. And the J.J. Hurtag, you know what I'm saying? We're not just talking about some some separation. We're talking about a oneness, octaves that you're moving into, octaves. Think about galaxies as octaves. You're moving in these octaves, octaves. Let's go. It's the next vibrational level up. Center. They're trying to bec they're trying to take control of 5D. Okay. So this 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 parasitic vampiric consciousness that is that that is um, trying to take complete control of Earth. Earth is the heart of the universe. Um, what they would like you to believe is that we are in the middle of no, we are a spinning ball in the middle of nowhere, and that we don't count, and that we are insignificant, and that we we are nothing. When in and when in actual fact, the Earth is the gem of this part of the corner of the universe. They have. Um, taken uh, okay so we could we could look at it as an, an analogy so we have crown third eye throat możemy heart, popatrzeć na to przez analogię mamy koronę sac trzecie oko solar plexus um, sacrum gardło base um, <laughs> nie jeszcze splot słoneczny serce i podstawę you got it yeah okay so each one of these chakra energy points represents a planet. They've taken control of all of them apart from the heart. The heart is the earth. Whoa. So all of them represent with the same planets and if planets are nothing but these wandering stars or fallen energies, then when you're put into this this suit, this 3D suit, they have hacked <laughs> all of your vortexes, but they can't hack your heart. So in Christianity, they say, well, the heart's deceiving amongst all things. But in reality, the heart is the only area you got, man, to fight from. Just like the Care Bear Stare, Negro, we got to do a collective Messiah Care Bear Stare. Right from the heart bone, baby. Um, Mars would be the base. That was the last time. Okay, so the right. war. So when you're in your base chakra, when they got you terrified and in your fear frequency, they got you in the Mars or the Moors frequency. Let go. Um, the war before here was on Mars. Oh. And we lost. I przegraliśmy. So then, 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 well, we came here and incarnated on this planet. Well, everybody here was also involved in the Mars war. That was there in different capacities. Or the Moors War, Atlantis. Let's go. I have complete memory. Uh, I, well, I have sem semi memory of the work that I did on Mars and what I was doing there, and why. And, and I knew that I was coming here, and I implanted myself so that I would remember at this time what I needed to do. If I had not done that. I would be still in complete amnesia and I wouldn't be able to fulfill the mission that I'm doing now. The implants look a little bit like Christmas lights that you put on a Christmas tree. 
They wound around the spinal cord. I wound them around the spinal cord. Each light would come on at different periods of time in my life Każdy to then allow me to remember uh, certain things at certain times on certain dates. Huh. Um, okay, so... so wow. uh, uh, hey, man. I can't confirm or deny. I wasn't there seeing him wrap anything around his spinal looking like Christmas light. But this seems to be a wealth of information, and they definitely did shut him down. Man, love to the family of surfing the wave, man, on the side, Sufa, red pill all the way. Uh, the sister, Golden, Golden Child, man, my, that's our sister, Katrina. She said, I can't even begin to express how resonant, how resonant this message is. I'll be writing more about my own experience after I move this month. Excellent reporting. Thanks for starting this epic wave. Wow, wow, that's our... That's our eternal, you know, that's our beginning. And this gem from the purple one dies to hijack. Yeah, man, our family's over here doing it, man. We're over here surfing the wave in this secret drop. We just being a little, a little secretive. <laughs> nah, man, I mean, look, everything's being unsealed, man. So we can, uh, you know, see see what the real is. Man, dig on this drop, man. Flat Earth, the uh, physical proof of the firmament by uh, Richie from Boston. Whew, hey. You tell me, man. You tell me. It's a lot going down around here, man. Isaac dropped this drop on me, man. Let's see. Was it this one? I think it is, man. The evidence of his virtuality. We got about 20 minutes or so, man. Let's just uh, pretty much dig on this, man. All the way to the dismount. This is very interesting. Take this. You know what I'm saying? Take what you've gotten into this. Connect it. You know what I'm saying? Surf it. Dig on it. You know, chew the meat. Spit out the bones. Let's go. Love to Isaac for the drop. If like, it would behave like the balls, and the screen would show two strips. Let go. Let's do this 27 trillion times faster. And this... The world's first programmable computer, the Zeus Z1, was able to perform two flights. Whoa. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. I've seen this, but 